In a corner of Tulsa, Oklahoma's Oaklawn Cemetery, workers began digging up ground that was free of headstones and formal graves. This excavation area that we're opening up today, it is approximately um, six by three meters in terms of the overall area that we are exposing. The mission, to find human remains that may have been dumped here 99 years ago, part of an effort to finally bring the truth about Tulsa's 1921 race massacre to the surface. In Tulsa, if you're murdered, we're going to do everything that we can to find out what happened to you and to render justice for your family. After reports spread of a young black man allegedly assaulting a white girl, a white lynch mob overpowered African Americans who'd come to defend him at the city jail. A racist rampage ensued. Before long, a prosperous neighborhood nicknamed Black Wall Street lay in ruins. As many as 300 black residents were dead. Their bodies disappeared. The massacre was ignored in the years that followed. This stuff actually happened. This is really uh, a black eye on, on not just the city, though. It's a black eye on America. Oral histories passed down by Tulsa residents identified Oak Lawn as a place where victims were buried. This is about an archaeologist so using geophysical feet, equipment detected underground so anomalies this at the cemetery it's, last it's year. I sent the data off to a colleague of mine who also does this work, and he, he basically came back and said, if that's not a mass grave, I don't know what one is. The city appropriated money for the excavation. Forensic experts were on hand to look for evidence of trauma on any uncovered remains. Gunshot wounds, signs of burning, they are features that can survive, sometimes just in the pattern of the skeletal remains. The search turned up many old artifacts. New trenches were dug as the days went on. But after reaching three and a half meters in depth, the excavation was called off on Wednesday. We do not have indications of a mass grave um, in this portion of Oak Lawn Cemetery. Historian Scott Ellsworth, who spent decades researching the massacre, says time is an obstacle to this investigation. That's a big barrier, 50 years of lies and deceit, records missing, things like that. So we're having to work through that. The city of Tulsa says this was the first but by no means last step in the search for the bodies. It claims it's still fully committed to finding them. There are apparently three other potential grave sites worth exploring. And I want you to understand, we're just beginning and we are not finished. Tulsa's mayor says the victims are owed a proper burial. I still think of them as our neighbors, our neighbors who were murdered. Finding justice for them, determining who actually killed them, that will have to come later. Hendrick Sabrandi for CGTN, Denver.